and there are wonderful points in the Iliad where you can actually track how the conventional story would have gone in one direction and Homer brings it kind of to a halt and confronts it very directly. Uh, I, the most obvious example is when people come begging Achilles, the estranged warrior, to return to the cause. And this is in itself a kind of conventional device in, in epic and storytelling where the hero is meant to accept the gifts and return. That's part of why the dramatic effect of why he withdrew. He's meant to withdraw in anger, be appeased, and return in triumph. And to have the warrior at that moment say, you know what, I'm not coming back. And not only that, nothing you give me is worth the price of my life. And it's, 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 revelatory. it's, it's revolutionary as well as revelatory. I'd say the top thing, bar none, is that war is, um, is devastating that contrary to what I think has come down in later time um, through academic channels, it is not glorious. It does not compensate a warrior for death. It is a costly enterprise that tends to blight the lives of everybody who comes within any kind of proximity to it. The other thing I think he's um, intent on showing, and this takes a closer reading of the Iliad, which I hope my book navigates people uh, through, is um, that this, not to buy the storyline, the, tr the conventional traditional storyline that war is glorious. In terms of war and the nature of humankind who conduct war, nothing much has changed between 750 BC and 2010 AD. So I think he was almost trying to say, don't let these kind of bland, these traditions that you know, have been handed down to us for so long be what direct your life.